I think you have all already heard about 3D printing, known also as additive manufacturing. You know that today, for a few hundreds of euros, you can buy a 3D printer and build some cool plastic stuff in your garage. Did you know that you can also build metallic parts? You will need a different machine, of course. A special machine using metal powder or metal wire and a powerful laser. With such a machine, you will be able to quickly build complex parts made of steel, titanium, aluminum, or other metal. Because the process to obtain these parts is different from normal forging processes, the parts properties are different. So the challenge is to master the additive manufacturing process to obtain equivalent or superior properties. This technology is already available for aeronautic or medical applications. My commitment is to make it possible to use this technology for nuclear reactors and especially for Gen 4 gel reactors where technological innovation will find all their meaning. To do so, I am using available scientific results which I adapt to build parts for nuclear reactors. During my PhD, my work is focusing on new techniques to join two different metals, which are usually difficult to weld together. With additive manufacturing, I can mix gradually 316L with 9 chromium steel, like a cocktail, building a gradient material to go progressively from one steel to another. Like this, I succeeded to join two different metals easily with excellent properties. By the way, trying these new additive manufacturing techniques, I also observed new phenomena. Barnacetic steels have a special behavior when they are cooled very fast, as in additive manufacturing. To explain this, I built a new model using thermodynamics and diffusion equations. And this understanding will be used in the world metallurgy community. Let's see now some concrete parts built for nuclear reactors. I've made this beautiful flower to demonstrate that it is possible to join two different metals together. Look! The middle and the petals don't have the same grey. It's because they are not made with the same steel. The middle is made of a martensitic steel, so it is magnetic. And the petals are made with a 316L austenitic steel, so they are not magnetic. This other part is made of steel. It is a bulk stopper of a French nuclear reactor in Belleville. As you can see here, the whole part was worn out, so it has to be replaced. By using additive manufacturing to make a new part, a lot of time and money were saved. The next step to introduce more and more additive manufacturing in nuclear reactors is to test different metals and different building conditions to see how the property varies and how it fits with nuclear reactors conditions. Thus, we will be able to build by additive manufacturing parts for present and future nuclear reactors. Replacing or repairing old parts, making parts with complex shape easily, building parts with different materials in a unique step, application of my research for present and future nuclear reactors are very broad. If like me you became an addict of additive manufacturing, come and board with me, let's go for Gen 4 reactors.